All right, his catchphrase from a cartoon that I still remember enjoying to this day. And finding out now, as lighthearted as it was, there were some interesting facts and some history behind Louis Anderson and the show itself and many other things. So let's look into a nice little thing on Life with Louis. Before I went to bed, I saw that Meatloaf had died. It was upsetting. A favorite artist of mine. Then I wake up to see Louis Anderson also passing away as well. I was a fan of his. I enjoyed his comedy, his appearance on Johnny Carson, being a first into his stand-up and looking more into that, and his appearance in Coming to America and other TV and film. And especially him being on Family Feud at the time when I was a kid. Uh, growing up, he was one of my favorite besides Richard Karn. Uh, of course, my favorite is still Richard Dawson. But of all that, as a kid, I remembered him most on his cartoon Life of Louie. Hell, back in October, my buds and I were discussing 90 shows. And there I was and brought it up and yep. Uh, on YouTube, there were some Halloween specials from stuff from at that time, and they had a Halloween episode of Life of Louie. We watched it, and it was hilarious. It was great. The episode focused on uh, Louie, where he stole one one tiny piece of candy, and that haunted him the whole episode. It was funny, uh, well written, and I loved how no matter how hard he tried to get rid of it, it would always come back. Kind of like that eerie scene from The Changeling. Even when he tried to return it, he gets rewarded. When he knows he shouldn't, tries to tell the truth, only to have everybody go, yeah, whatever, you're a hero, good for you, type of stuff for the ending. But his mom was the only one that listened to him and said at least he tried to do good, thus, you know, rewarding him. This show had laughs, but it also had heart, meaning, and some good messages. At that time, I recall this... Bobby's World, and Camp Candy, tunes about comedians, celebrities, and all that. I enjoyed all three, and as I recall, the station I watched them on as a kid, I think they had all those up on some kind of lineup at one point. Life with Louie, though, I think stuck out the most, but the show ran on Fox Kids for three seasons, 39 episodes, 94, 95, to 1998. In season one, each show began with Anderson, live action, talking to the audience, then, dissolving through into the cartoon. Seasons 2 or 3 would just be being turned on by the television and saying, let me tell, tell you about, about my, my family. family. And then cartoon clips as the song goes. Catchy song still sticks with you. I always remember that song, if anything. So the series, Anderson would narrate, and we see him as a kid, and go through the episodes. Sir about him, his family, friends. In Wisconsin, though, he grew up in Minnesota. Louis voice his eight-year-old self and the father in the cartoon andy anderson as louis himself said he was a melancholy person it showed in this character in the cartoon as well lou would be like his dad in some ways in the cartoon he'd have a temper and he liked being alone i enjoyed the humor the style was fine and like i said the tune was catchy the characters were nice as well Besides Louie and Andy, you had his caring mom, Aura, his younger brother, Tommy. He had other siblings, older siblings, but they weren't shown as much. I think it was focused more on Tommy because he was the younger brother. The other ones were older brother and sisters. Uh, he had Pepper, his uh, overweight pet goldfish, and friends like Jeannie, whom he had a crush on, uh, Mike and Toddler, and some others. Of course, we had a bully, Glenn Glenn who teased Louie and the rest of the crew. All well voice acted and memorable, in my opinion. Like, I love the voices and how they sounded. Like The Simpsons, its pilot, the first episode, was a Christmas-themed one. A Christmas surprise for Mrs. Stillman. There was some merchandise for the show, apparel, books, even kids' toys and meals like Taco Bell, Dairy Queen. A lot of that's hard to find. Some of it's pretty expensive right now. Overall, I recall it, and have rewatched some episodes since I first mentioned reconnecting back in October. The show was a comedy, but had heart and morals. Season 2 ends, 
Louis writing a thank you note for his grandma, but procrastinates, and then finds out that his grandma just passed away. Other episodes dealt with his father getting canned, and more episodes of him telling the truth and standing up for himself and others. Other fun episodes I can recall from just recently watching The Masked Chess Boy, <laughs> Lake Winnie Begoshish, The Undergraduate, jeez, and Family Portrait, just to name a few. All funny, all kind of crazy, but a lot of those ones had like some good meaning and some heart to it. The series won two Emmys, and it won the Humanitas Prize three times. You can find episodes on YouTube, but no full series DVD releases are available as of now. And while Life of Louie was a cartoon for kids, family, upon looking more into Louie's life when he releases autobiography and all this kind of stuff, there was kind of a sadder, darker uh, tone when you see what it was all about in a sense. While the cartoon, again, a favorite of mine growing up, it was well written, it was funny, genuine, heartwarming about his childhood and the comedian of Louis Anderson helped with it, writing all that and some other talented writers. But when you find out what it was about his father, that's where it kind of gets, that's where the history of it really kind of sinks in and kind of gets you. He had a book, Letters from an Adult Child, and it was about his relationship with his father. Stuff like about abuse and how he didn't seem to care about Louis at all, drinking problems. So what was interesting was, it's not how that was with the father in the cartoon. It wasn't really about his childhood. It's somehow, what I guess, what he wanted his childhood to be. The relationship he kind of wanted, dreamed of, uh, sought for. Very fascinating stuff. Go give that a read. Go check out more of that. And then, of course, what I liked was his uh, part as Christine in Baskets. And it said it helped him understand more of his own mother. He was extremely talented, especially when it came to his own past and his own upbringing and everything. He was able to take that and put that into a lot of his works, and it shows very well, I would say. Life with Louis was a well-made cartoon by many talented people, and more so Louis Anderson himself. It was a nice stepping stone into Louis and his talent. While not as popular or remembered... As many of the other 90s animated shows are, it definitely should be remembered. And I'm sure it is, especially now with this, maybe more people will go into it. And I know more, a lot of people are very interested in the 90s, 80s. So I'm sure there's going to be more fans coming from over the years, and even more fans years on from now, for Louis Anderson himself, and his work, and in this cartoon. Hopefully there will be many more fans, because it's deserving, and this show is definitely worth checking out. And for anyone who remembers it, they enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments below your memories of Louis Anderson in general, your favorite roles of his. Uh, did you like the cartoon? Do you remember this cartoon and those other ones listed? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. It helps us out. I appreciate it. We'll do more of this kind of stuff if people want. But of course, probably will because we enjoy this stuff. And rest in peace, Louis.